Hey Herpers, Herpetologists and everyone else. I'm over here at the girlfriend's house um, doing a little project. So originally this was just a closet in my girlfriend's reptile room. So I first converted it into a small indoor iguana cage. Um, which is actually about five and a half foot long by two and a half foot wide by I guess however tall the ceiling is eight nine feet or something so anyways that iguana is gone so now we wanted to divide the big cage into two smaller cages which are still fairly large cages um, so we have these little doors that I made, little ledge right here for substrate. Obviously we have to uh, coat, coat it all with uh, some kind of water sealant paint or whatever. Um, got some plywood screwed into the little frame of the attic so it can't push through to that. Uh, other than that, it's all sealed in. So you see I've had to divide it. See, I got my two two doors open here. Um, so you see, I have framing. Oh, I can't see that good, but got framing going all the way around um, for these animals to go into. I don't know if you can see this little gap, but there's nowhere for it to go because I have a block of wood right here. Um, I know you can't see right here up against this plexiglass and then obviously another block right there in the 2x4 stopping anything from getting through to the other cage. So we have a nice cage here that a monitor is going to go in and then we have this top cage which is just, I don't know, I want to say about a foot, foot and a half shorter which is a uh, red tail type boa. Um, is gonna go in that It's some kind of morph. It's like orangish. I forgot what it is. Anyways, so You see it all gutted. We have to paint it and decorate it. You're gonna get to see how good my girlfriend is At um Decorating and you're gonna see how happy her animals are so you all stay tuned and I'll show you what it looks like after All right signing out Nate's nature notes